Okay, um, a lot of a lot of students struggled with this problem. Um, I think more than you needed to. I, I think sometimes you guys and everyone probably looks at a, a math problem and you say this has to be hard, and so you make it harder than it needs to be. Um, let's. So let's just kind of break this down. So an athletic director, maybe put yourself in, in those shoes. You are the athletic director, and you want to buy soccer balls and footballs. You may not like either sport, but you still want to buy the balls for some reason. Anyway, uh, each soccer co ball costs $15. Each football costs $20. And the director can spend no more than $150. Right? And inequality, okay, this is probably the first part where... Uh, a lot of people missed is you wrote an equality, an equation, instead of an inequality. To model the situation where x is the number of soccer balls, okay, so soccer balls, those are $15, and we have, we're charged $15 every time we buy a soccer ball, which x, okay? And y is the number of footballs, footballs cost $20, so $20 every time we buy a football. You can spend no more than $150 in all. Okay, so we spend $15 for the number of soccer balls. We spend $20 for the number of footballs. And we cannot spend more than $150. We can spend $150, but we can't spend any more than $150. So less than or equal to $150. Okay. And hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. We pay $15 for each soccer ball, $20 for each football, and after we've spent all of that money, we can't spend $151, we can't spend $150 in a penny. Okay, those, that, that's no good. It has to be less than or equal to $150 even. Now, graphing this, right? Looking at this, you could try and put it into y equals mx plus b form. It would be fairly ugly. Um, but we can do that. We could subtract 15x from both sides, and we would get 20y. E sorry, is less than or equal to negative uh, 15x plus 150. Divide both sides by 20. And remember, when you divide one side by 20, you have to divide everything on the side by 20. So y is going to be less than or equal to negative uh, 15 over 20. Both are divisible by 5, so that's negative 3 fourths x. There's our slope. And 150 divided by 2 is 7 and a half. Okay. And I, I suppose that could help out um, a couple of things you're not going to be able to buy. And maybe that works. Maybe this is the easiest way for you to, to graph it, and that's fine. Uh, you know your y-intercept is 7.5, so that's going to be right around here. Okay, And you know your slope is negative 3 fourths, so every time you go down 3, you're going to go over 4. So your next one would be 1, 2, 3, over 4. Your next point would be right about here. Okay, and you could keep doing that. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, right about here. And then you go off the chart. Um, but you could sketch that line and come down. Okay, that is a perfectly valid way to do it. Um, and, and that's fine. We're going to try a different approach that I think um, will make more sense. And, and that's the only reason I'm, I'm doing it this way. Uh, we're going to go back to this 15x plus 20y is less than or equal to 150. Okay, and I want you to think about this scenario. Okay, you can have $150 to spend. What happens if all you do is buy soccer balls? Okay, all you do is buy soccer balls. You don't buy any footballs. Well, you still have the $150 to spend, but you got rid of this 20y because you're not buying any footballs. So 15x is less than or equal to 150. Divide both sides by 15. And x is less than or equal to 10. Okay, so... If I only buy soccer balls, this is where I'm going to be. 
Okay, no footballs, so I'm not, I don't have a Y component. I only have soccer balls. I bought 10 soccer balls. And then go to the other extreme. Well, what if I only buy footballs and I don't buy any soccer balls? Then I have, I don't have this 15X because I didn't buy any soccer balls. So I just have 20Y is less than or equal to 150. Well, divide both sides by 20 and I don't think they should have made this problem this way, but y is less than or equal to 7 and a half, which doesn't make a lot of sense, right? You can't buy 7 and a half footballs. I mean, I guess you could try, and maybe they'll send you half one. I don't know. I've never tried that. You can't really buy 7 and a half footballs, but that is where our intercept would be, which is the same one, which is good. That's a good sign. Um, and then when we fill this out, we're going to get a line, and I don't make any straighter lines on here than I do on the board, but that's my approach. Okay, it is equal to, so it should be a solid line, and then we're going to just, it could be anything under this line, right? I, I don't have to spend the $150. I could spend less. That's why it's an inequality. So I want to shade in all of this area. Now, part C, so this is what your graph should look like. But part C says list three possible solutions to the inequality in this context and explain why some solutions in your graph cannot be actual solutions to the situation. So according to this inequality, we can buy at any point in here, okay? Uh, I'll use a different color so you can see it, maybe blue. Any color in here, any point in here is a valid and any point on the line as well. There's just not as many of those. Okay, so there's three. It could be any any point in here where you can, where you have a definite x and a definite y. Okay, so for one, if I buy one soccer ball, I can buy five footballs. Okay, so one soccer ball, five footballs. I could actually buy seven, but that's okay. I don't have to spend all of my money. Any of these points would be valid for this first part, the three possible solutions. So I'm just going to write three of them, but it doesn't have to be these three, uh, six, one. Any of these would work. There are a lot of different points that would work for this, okay? Um, the second part, why can some solutions not, wouldn't work? Okay, so let's just say I went right here, except that, there we go. I think I'm overloading my computer. So I'm going to buy four and a half soccer balls and two footballs. You can't buy four and a half soccer balls. I mean, again, you could try, but it's not going to do a lot of good. It would make for a pretty lousy game to have half a soccer ball. So any of the, the fractions, right? Any of because this green part fills in all of our fractions too. I could have one point zero 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 one uh, football. Sorry, soccer's soccer balls and one football. That's that's in there. That's in the shaded part, but it doesn't make any sense because you can only buy whole value of the ball. You can only buy one soccer ball at a time or one football at a time. You can't buy fractions of the ball. And that's why some of the solutions in the graph are not actual so solutions to the situation. I hope that helps. I hope that makes sense. Um, and I hope you enjoy the, looks like a Christmas tree almost, that's been flipped upside down. Um, anyway, I hope you make sense. this makes sense to you and this was helpful.